Jumbo and a very warm welcome to you this um, Wednesday midweek service. We are so glad that you could join us. We trust that you've had a very, very good week and we welcome you to get recharged and renewed as we uh, move on uh, 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 this difficult time that we are worshipping from our homes. But we are also seeing that it is a wonderful time when we are renewing the family altar and the personal altar. So we welcome you to join with us as we pray together. Heavenly Father, we give you praise, we give you glory, we give you adoration. We thank you because all things work together for good. And even these times that we feel stretched, Father Lord, you are the king of the universe. And Lord, everything is under your handiwork and command and control. And so, Lord, we are excited at the opportunity to join with our viewers all over the world on YouTube and, and WhatsApp and, 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 and Facebook, Heavenly Father, as we worship you today, this 24th day of June 2020. We pray that your name would be lifted up as we do the service, as we do the recording, as those who will be viewing us, Lord. We ask that your presence would be so real as we worship you. As we arise the holy mountain of the Lord, may you clothe us with your righteousness, O God. And let this be a service full of your spirit, full of new empowering and grace. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray and believe. Amen. Come on, somebody, praise the Lord. Clap your hands. Turn it. Jesus is mine. He is mine. Mine forevermore. Yeah. Jesus is mine. Come on. He is mine. He is mine. mine forevermore. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. Yeah. Ah, dance kidogo. Mm -hmm. Jesus is mine. He is mine. Mine forever. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. He is mine. He is mine. He is mine forever. Jesus is mine. Jesus is mine. My Savior, my, Savior, my Redeemer, my Redeemer yeah. forever. Oh, He's my Savior, my, Savior, my Redeemer, my Redeemer oh, He's my forever. Oh, He's my Savior, He's my, Savior my Redeemer, my If you believe that, sing with me. Makofi Bobwana, Makofi, Makofi, Makofi. Come on. Yes, we are the 
uzima Yesu ni wa uzima Yesu ni wa uzima Shangwe na vigelekele kwa Yesu Yawe 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 Yesu ni mokozi wangu mimi nitaimba Yesu ni mokozi wangu mimi nitaimba Imba 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 Yesu ni mokozi wangu mimi nitacheza Yesu ni mokozi wangu mimi nitacheza Cheza 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 Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Shangwe na vigele gele kwa Yesu. Ukita kachochote mwambie Yesu. Ukita kachochote mwambie Yesu. Mwambie Yesu. Mwambie Yesu. Mwambie Yesu. Mwambie Yesu anaweza Mwambie chochote mwambie Yesu Mwambie Yesu Mwambie Yesu Mwambie Yesu Mwambie Yesu Shawe na vigele gele kwa Yesu Makofi 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 kwa Yesu Makofi Kama unapenda Yesu yelele mikono kwa ewa Unapenda Yesu yelele mikono kwa ewa Kama unapenda Yesu yelele mikono kwa ewa Ayatua kwa ewa Uweka kwa kichwa Ayatua kwa kichwa Uweka kwa mabiga Ayatua kwa mabiga Uweka kwa kiuno Ayatua kwa kiuno Piga makofi kwa Yesu Makofi kwa Yesu Ikile kile Eli lelile Ikile kile Ikile lile Ikile kile Eli lelile Ikile kile Hallelujah, what a wonderful time of praise we have had and we want to just now go straight to the ministration of God's word. I want to welcome you kindly to turn in your Bibles to the gospel according to St. Luke chapter 2. We're going to read from verse 22. Luke chapter 2, we're going to read from verse 22. Read together with me the, the title is the temple presentation. Bible says, when the time came for the purification rites required by the law of Moses, Joseph and Mary took him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. As it is written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male is to be consecrated to the Lord and to offer sacrifice in keeping with what is said in the law of the Lord. A pair of doves and two young pigeons. Now there was a man in Jerusalem called Simeon who was righteous and devout. He was waiting for the consolation of Israel and the Holy Spirit was on him. It had been revealed to him by the Holy Spirit that he would not die before he had seen the Lord's Messiah. And so moved by the Spirit, he went into the temple courts. 
And when the parents brought in the child Jesus to do for him what the custom of the law required, Simeon took him in his arms and praised God saying, Sovereign Lord, as you have promised, you may now dismiss your servant in peace. For my eyes have seen your salvation, which you have prepared in the sight of all nations, a light for revelation to the Gentiles and the glory of your people Israel. The child's father and mother marveled at what was said about him. Then Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, This child is destined to cause the falling and rising of many in Israel, and to be a sign that will be spoken against, so that the thoughts of many hearts will be revealed, and a sword will pierce your very soul, your own soul too. There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Penuel, of the tribe of Asher. She was very old. She had lived with her husband seven years after her marriage, and then a widow um, was a widow until she was 84. She never left the temple but worshipped night and day, fasting and praying, coming up to that very moment. She gave thanks to God and spoke about the child, all who were looking forward to the redemption of Jerusalem. When Joseph and Mary had done everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to Galilee to their own town of Nazareth, and the child grew and became strong, and he was filled with wisdom, and the grace of the Lord was on him. The grace of God was on him. Friends, this is the word of the Lord, and we all say it. Thanks. Thanks be to God. In line with our theme for this year, 2020, taken from Isaiah, I believe 40, verse 31, waiting on the Lord. Today, we will look at the lives of two people who waited upon the Lord. And we will seek to learn just a little bit from them on the questions of how to wait and the results of waiting. And so today we will look at the lives of Simeon and Anna waiting upon the Lord. 